This module allows transaction in multi-currency. The system will auto-calculate gain or loss in a currency exchange and post to journal and GL entries accordingly. To enable it, go to Tools, Program Control, Module Setting. Check the checkbox of multi-currency. This module is available in all editions. OK. Go to General Maintenance, Currency Maintenance. By default, Home Currency is created by the system. Click on New to add a new currency. Key in a unique currency code, for example USD, currency symbol USD. Currency word is the name of currency in words. Key in a bank buy rate. This is the default exchange rate when you are selling this currency USD to a bank for home currency Malaysian Ringgit. And a bank sell rate as the default exchange rate when you are buying this currency USD from bank with home currency Malaysian Ringgit. Account and general type setting for currency exchange gain loss is needed for each currency including home currency if you are using multi-currency. Oh yes, you need to create a related GL accounts before this. Exchange gain account. Select the gain on foreign exchange account. Exchange loss account. Select the loss on foreign exchange account. Exchange gain loss journal. Select the journal type for gain loss journal entries. Then click on OK. Let's do the same for home currency. Highlight the home currency manager ringgit and click on edit to assign the GL accounts and journal type. OK. Click to highlight a foreign currency. You may click on currency rate. Click on add to maintain a currency rate for a specific date and period. And during transition, these rates will be captured instead of the default rate. Go to AR, data maintenance. Create a new data. Add a new data. I call it USD data. Change the currency to USD. Please take note that for a data or creditor that trades in foreign currency as well as home currency, you need to maintain separate accounts for different currencies. For example, you may maintain 300-U001 data A for USD and 300U002 data A for Malaysian Ringgit. The same thing applies to creditor maintenance. Click on Save. And now in my data list, that is a data with currency code USD. Create a new invoice. Select a data with foreign currency. You may see the currency and the default currency rate is displayed. Click on plus sign to add an item. Be aware that now the price is in USD. So at footer, default currency rate is adopted to arrive at local net total, 10,500. To modify the exchange rate, you can just key in the rate or click on the drop down button to select an earlier maintain rate. Click on save and preview. OK. The printout invoice is of course in USD. You may go to AR, AR invoice entry to locate the posted entry. Double click to view. You may click on view, view posting details to see the related GL posting details. Next, let's create a new AR invoice entry directly from AR menu. Click on create a new AR invoice. Select a data with USD currency. The currency and the default rate is displayed. You may change the exchange rate if you want. Click on plus sign to select a sales account and key in the amount. 2000 in USD. Look at the local net total, 7000 is auto calculated. You may click on change button 
to modify this amount usually when you need to adjust the rounding figure or find the total and click on save to view the transaction listing go to GL journal of transaction report define the filter option click on inquiry you may drag out the columns of currency code original debit original credit from column chooser so these are the entries I have added just now go to AR Data statement report. To find the data, I have selected only the USD data and click on inquiry. So the data is listed with the currency and the amount of balance. Click on the plus sign to list down the transaction details. Click on preview. OK. This is the data statement in USD. To see the data balance in local currency or home currency, go to more option, check the checkbox of show in local currency, select USD, OK, inquiry, click on plus sign, so now the figure is in Malaysian ringgit. Let's create a new AR payment, select the data with USD. The currency and the default rate is automatically displayed. Change the rate to 3.4 so that there will be a loss in foreign exchange. Select the payment method. Key in the payment amount 3000 USD. And here display the local amount 10,200. Knock off and save. The prompted screen is for you to set foreign exchange gain and loss date. The screen shows that there will be a loss in foreign exchange 300 on this date. You may click to change the date, then OK. This is the listing of the payment. Go back to view the payment, click on view, view posting details. It shows that the system has auto-generated GL entries for the loss in exchange rates. The posted entries can also be seen at Journal of Transaction Reports. Click on High option. This is the entries listing for loss on foreign exchange and the payment. You may also record the payment received of foreign currency by debit into a foreign currency bank account. First of all, you need to create a bank account in USD. This is account maintenance. Highlight current asset and click on bank cash deposit. The parent account should not be a home currency account and make sure the currency code is USD. Save. Create a new AR payment. Select the data USD. Change the currency rate to 3.4. For payment method, Select the USD bank, key in the payment amount, 2000 USD. The two bank rate should be 1.0. Knock off and save. OK. Go to GL, Journal of Transaction Report, Inquiry, High Options, so that we can see all the entries. You can clearly see that the USD bank account is debited with 2000 USD. Let's say this USD 2000 in USD bank is later converted to home currency to Malaysian ringgit at the rate of 3.55. We will make a cash entry to record the cash payment from USD bank account and a cash receipt to Malaysian ringgit bank account. To do so, I will create a new payment voucher. Select currency, USD, payment method, we are paying from the USD bank, payment amount is 2000, to bank rate is 1. Click on account to be debited, debit to a Malaysian ringgit bank account, and the conversion to local amount is 7100. Save. Go to GL, ledger report, define the options. I have selected only USD bank account and click on inquiry. 
Observe carefully the USD bank account. Original debit, credit, and balance shows that there is no more balance in this account. But in home currency, there is a balance of negative 300. This was caused by different exchange rates. A journal entry is needed to offset this balance in home currency against the gain or loss in exchange rate. Let's add a new journal entry. The description, let's put offset negative balance. Currency is Malaysian Ringgit because we need to adjust the Malaysian Ringgit. The rate is 1. Click on plus sign to select USD bank account with the currency rate 0 because we are not going to affect the USD amount. Debit with 300. Add again and credit to gain on foreign exchange account. Currency rate is 1. Credit 300. Save. Go to Ledger Report again. Inquiry. And now you can see after the adjustment of 300, home balance now is 0. You may also maintain the selling price of an item in different currency. For example, item A, when sold in Malaysian Ringgit is 20 Ringgit. But when sold in USD is 9 USD dollar. And sold in Singapore dollar is 11 Singapore dollar. Go to stock, more stock maintenance, item price by currency maintenance. Define the filter option. You must at least select one filter either item code or currency. Choices are to select one specific item for all currency or select one specific currency for all items or select one specific item and one specific currency. Let's say I select currency USD for all items. Click on edit. Now I can maintain the pricing in USD for all items. Highlight an item and at the bottom here Key in the price in USD. Highlight another item. At the bottom here, put in the price in USD. The checkbox of delete will be unchecked when this item is selected and price is key in. If this checkbox is checked, it means the respective item setting will be excluded or it means it will not take effect. After the maintenance, Click on OK. A list of item price by currency will be displayed. And from now on, this price will take effect when these items are transacted in USD. That's all for multi-currency module. Thank you.